100 year old flashlight part three The thermal properties on these lights is not good, partly because they're made of metals like tin and steel, uh, but mostly because of all of these little wavy design elements that you see. They don't leave a lot of flat surfaces for an LED heatsink to make contact with. So here's what our cutaway would basically look like. We'd have threads like that and then it curves right here the body line comes down our threads on the inside and a curve but then there's that sticky uppy part right there the heat sink's going to come down in here along here and then it's going to come all the way down in the body and then that way it makes contact with as many of these ridiculous surfaces, even the threads a little bit right there as possible. <laughs> 